Yep. TDM's gonna be focused on getting like four grabs. All right, these are optimistic command grabs coming out. So where's John Wick from? You know I have no John idea. Wick? I have never seen him before. Because I have been told by the chat that he's like a low-key, really good mark. All right. And we well, see him get a quick zero to death on Tommy's Ganon. 20 seconds. I don't know if it's quick, but that's pretty cool. I wasn't expecting a zero to death out of him. So that was very well, well done by him. So Tommy's one of those uh, purposefully suboptimal Ganons so where he'll go for cool stuff. So I don't know. We'll see how that works for him. Ah. Did he get the kill off weak down here? Um, it's pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty good. Tommy has to eat, expecting to get edge guarded anyways. Tommy is that type of player to just save him, himself and his opponent some time. He's good, good for the tournament. He does need to get some hits. There it goes. There we go. I'm not sure if Tommy uh, is like a chain grabbing Ganondorf that'll go for that. Probably is. Oh. Okay. Nice. That was so let's see if TDM, because TDM's been playing for a very long time. You, I know he was a very prominent Brawl player. And melee player. I did not know that. You didn't know he was a brawl player? Nope. Snake. Hmm. One of the better snakes in the state. I think he was power ranked. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cool. Hey, dude, Tommy's really good. Oh, wow. Because, you know, we are playing brawl right now. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly. Ooh. That was a nice dare. That's really good. That is bold. John Wick's been really good about stringing back air into forward air to get him off stage. Right. And that's the first like side B that he's landed. Up B out of shield, that was nice. Sanchez. It's seven o'clock. Alright. I feel like Tommy may have a uh, put this game in the bag already. And he's focusing on next game. Adjusting, adapting, yeah. all that good stuff. Because uh, I guess some people would describe him as a troll. Eric, focus on but losers. Losers is like not yeah. running. Focus on losers. And again. So he's really having trouble taking this last stock off, which is. Yeah. That was a good up there. Okay. So if he gets a stomp off stage and then a, a side B, it's doable. Gets the gain inside, That's the bad should do it. All right, no stomp, no gain inside. One so zero, we could John see a boy, we could see a snake, we could see uh, any number of things from TDM. Hmm. I'd like to see a snake and like do more zone control. He was kind of running in all willy-nilly. He wasn't approaching safely, which Ganondorf absolutely has to do. So maybe you should just like sit back and let or Snake control Roy. the stage for him. Roy. I've never played as Roy. It's okay. All right. Good night. <laughs> Is it good enough? I don't know. Guess we're I'm not find sure. Out. I, 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 I so am on Wario Land. I, I want to give some shout outs to this song. This is, do you remember DDR Mario Edition? No. On the GameCube? No. There's a DDR Mario. Mario DDR. This is Wario's theme song from that game. Okay. I didn't know Roy had a theme song in Dance Dance Revolution. Mario. Uh, the Roy is working out way better than the Ganondorf. Wow. He's going for the Flare Blade when I'd rather him just see him grab the ledge. Uh, but, you know, he's a proud, independent Roy player. He can make his own decisions. Yep. That was a good tech. Oh, I like that up smash. Yeah, I'm not sure I agreed with Tommy, like, trying to do, like, he realized that he was facing away from John Wick after the first side B, but mm -hmm. opted to go for the two and three in order to turn around four, but that's just way too long. So I would have rather just seen yeah. him, like, roll, wave dash out of shield, something like that. That was okay. nice. Why didn't he just walk up slowly on F Smash? Wouldn't he uh, outrange him? I'm not him? sure. I mean, the Flare Blade, like the Fear Blade. The Fear Blade. Good name. Good like, name. sometimes in those situations where you know exactly how to punish your opponent, you're worried that they know something that you don't. 
Yeah. Yeah. So maybe John yeah. Wick's like, is Roy's flare blade longer than it Cause, looks? Because no one, no one plays Roy in this state. No yeah. one. Uh, Exodus is picking him up, but okay. And uh, my buddy Rhino is as well, preferring him to Marth. Oh, good read uh, on the spot yeah, dodge. Definitely, it was a good read. Nice zipper. Oh wow. Two stocks each. Good down smash. I've really been liking the pressure that TDM's been putting on John Wick this whole game. But I feel, I feel like I feel like John Wick is getting platform. the hang of this. That's possible. That was a nice deck. Is good thought. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like TDM let up more so than John Wick adapted. Oh, that was an excellent uh, spot dodge on stage. That was really good. Is that it? I would have liked to counter there. You can really angle Roy's upbeat. I'm really surprised he's not countering the upbeat. I would have sweet spotted there. Yeah. In this. Okay. Tommy takes this game super serial. Yeah. I'm not sure that uh, Marth's counter would hit Roy if he sweet spotted it, though. And then, like, uh, like I do it sometimes. A lot of people oh, try like to... Oh, you bait the counter? Yeah, like, Squirtle's up B. A lot of, like, Fire Emblem players try to, like, <gasps> punish it with a counter. Nice. All right, one more. Um, they try to punch it with a counter. But if Squirtle sweet spots the ledge, uh, it hits, like, Marth or Roy or whatever. And then I, um, they're, like, stuck in the counter animation. But I'm, like, grabbing the ledge currently. So I can just jump up and down air, nair, do whatever. All right, that's twice he's opted for the like jump reverse. It's like the fifth time he's double edge for a dance B. or whatever it's called. Yeah, uh, double edge blade. Double edge blade. or double edge chance, That's dance. You're right. You're right. I think Roy and Marts are named differently. Oh, is it? Hmm. I want to say so, but I could be entirely wrong. Whoa, that was that was, that was pretty cool. naughty. But he's living. Good DI. Nope. Never mind. I lied. I feel like he could get a lot of mileage out of like wave dash forward for F tilt out of Roy. Mm -hmm. He's not, so he needs to grab the ledge. Oh yeah, no, okay. Mats is his dancing blade. Dancing blade? Okay. Yeah. All right. And then what's Roy's though? Double edge dance, I think. Probably, okay. Like similar, but not exactly the same. That grab range. Why is he trying so hard? I He's trying so hard for these side Bs and he, I... I mean... I mean, it's Tommy. He plays Tommy, the game for fun. Tommy gonna do what, yeah. I need to tipper. turn that one around. That was interesting. Why isn't he not? Okay. Ooh. I guess that's why he's not grabbing the ledge. I mean, I don't know about this matchup, man. I think Marth probably wins it. Because he can outspace Roy, but Roy probably... I just don't agree with... Okay. That was cool. Like, I'm just going to shut up now. <laughs> John Wick should have just dropped to the ledge and dropped below ledge and then sweet spotted yeah. instead of going for that. That was nice. Oh, nifty. Yeah, so uh, Roy's double edge dance to spike. You actually angle the third hit up, whereas with Marth, you angle the third hit down. Oh my gosh. What? I'm both disappointed that John Wick didn't outright try to avoid that and that Tommy hit it, or missed it anyways. Ooh, got That's him. why you got to refresh your invincibility, yeah. guys, so you're not forced to roll from ledge. That was great timing. That Do that really instead. Yeah, Do that, that instead. Really I think after this, we're going to have Jim Jam Flim Flam versus Sanchez. Doesn't quite make it. Last dog, game three. Let's see how this goes. Uh, he still it. has double jump. Ah, oh, why? Why? Just grab the ledge. Oh, that, that was a disappointing okay. end. I wanted something better. I wanted something better from that. So I think that TDM was just trying to cover his approach. Like he felt that John Wick is going to run in and be 
ready to, like, just closer to the ledge, inherently. Uh, but Jomic just stayed outside of the range that Roy Zabi would, like, poke up into the stage, and then, you know, that happened. All right, we have we have the hero, the, the, the stream favorite, 